welcome to our day two meditation, healing division and awakening to unity. Let us begin with five rounds of pranayama breath work. We will inhale for a five second count, holding the breath for a five second retention and exhale for another five second count. And I invite you with each breath to allow the mind to relax deeper into stillness. Move beyond the body, beyond the mind, and into pure awareness. Take a deep breath, breathe in, and a deep exhale, breathing everything out. And we inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, five, four, three, two, one. Hold the breath, five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, five, four, three, two, one. Allow your breathing to return to its natural rhythm as you inhale and exhale. Why do we see so much division and fighting in the world? The Course in Miracles says the ego is the part of the mind that believes in division. So there is a part of our mind that continues to see that and to prove that in its experience. The truth is that the division I see is the division in me. We are always seeing through what is in our own mind. The Course teaches that the world is your projection. You see division because you have a divided mind. This is not a permanent sentence, by the way. It's a temporary illusion that we are here to heal. The problem is, as taught in all great sacred texts, we cannot serve two masters. We cannot hate one person and love another. We cannot judge and blame this faction of people 
and simultaneously hold another faction of people as good and free. The highest calling and the spiritual path to awakening is for us to release everyone from being good or bad, right or wrong. And the way that that happens is by healing those beliefs within our own mind. The Course in Miracles says, in the real world, there is no sickness, or there is no separation and no division. The real world is God's world. The one world made of love and undivided. This world is within you as potential every single moment. I invite you to let your attention float down into the heart. Imagine in the very center of your chest, a ball of golden light. And this golden light is a symbol of the one light, the one presence and the one power. As you place your attention and your breath upon this light, imagine it beginning to become brighter and brighter and to spread throughout the entire body. Imagine from head to toe to the tips of your fingers and everything in between unified by this one beautiful golden light. One light fills the entire body. Imagine now that this light extends beyond the body. extending beyond the room that you're in, spreading out, filling the entire neighborhood, connecting with every single person, known and unknown, traveling around your vicinity. Imagine everyone included in this one Imagine this light extending beyond your neighborhood, stretching to include the town that you live in, the country in which you reside, and extending into the depths of the waters, high above the mountains, and wrapping itself all around the planet. One power, one light. And imagine that this touches and connects the hearts and minds of every single person. Taking attention off of personality and preferences, knowing that within every single person, there is this love. And it is the light and the love that we share. Imagine yourself looking at the planet from out in space and see it as one ball of beautiful golden light. Imagine all of humanity generously sharing, supporting, caring, 
Keep your mind single focused on the unifying power of love within yourself. Course in Miracles says you are one self, united and secure in light and joy and peace. You are one self with one creator and one goal to bring awareness of this oneness to all minds that true creation may extend the allness and the unity of God. This is exactly what you're doing now. By the power of your mind, the focus, and the imagination, you are seeing and activating one self, one world, one unified expression of God's love. Just for a few more moments, see the entire planet and all life, all beings, one in harmony, in joy, and in peace. Now we take a moment to ask the Holy Spirit, which is the healing power within the mind, to help us to release all thoughts and beliefs in division. May our minds be healed forever. Holy Spirit, help us to see the loving light in all. Help us to bring this loving light everywhere we go. Take a deep breath. Just imagine pulling that beautiful ball of light called the planet closer and closer and closer and imagine it coming right into your heart. Connecting again with the entire body filled with this light. And imagine all of that light that you extended contracting until it's back into the heart, holding the world in the center of your love. This is the experience of unity. Allow gratitude to arise within you appreciating yourself first and foremost for being a willing vessel for the healing of division within yourself and your mind. Your mantra for today is, I am one self, united with my creator. I am one self, united with my creator. Speak this, breathe it in and out. Let it saturate your mind and all you do and see today. Say it a thousand times and even more. Give yourself the gift of this truth. I am one self united with my creator. Now take a deep breath into the body. And 
and a deep exhale as you bring your awareness back to the room, back to the body. And when you're ready, open your eyes and arise in the unity of your being.